guys, it's thundering and it's about to rain, that big storm. We're about to go out and try Panda Express for the first time. We've done all our hair and we're all dressed nicely. Look, I haven't dressed nicely at all, so it's fine. But for me, but um, it's starting to rain a little bit and I was trying to see if a storm cloud would take there be some thunder but um, for some reason there's some lightning you can't hear it though it's just fun just lightning that is a dark dark storm cloud there's the thunder where's the lightning lightning should come first because light travels faster than sound no it's not it's just about to though it's raining now and the bus is just gone which means we're gonna have to wait in the rain we have to stand under the shelter and watch the thunder oh and the cloud looks like it's gonna go over well actually it's not moving but uh <laughs> it's not really moving but like you can see the sky it's like the tower of terror we're about to embark Journey. To the Twilight Zone. That's what it's like. What's she doing? Well, why don't you just like enjoy it? You know, it's just. It's just a rainstorm. Like, ain't a little bit of rain. No, rain ain't gonna hurt us. It's fine. Yeah, it's gone. We have to wait for another one. Give Anna a bit. Ooh. If I see a tree set on fire, that would be You've well got your cool. raincoat and not yours. It's windy, it's raining, there's thunder and lightning. And we're going to London Express in this one. Oh my god! Session with family. That's good. It's already here. This is the family room. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. Oh, and the faces you see on these walls are our family. When I'm in this room, I feel like we're all together again. Ready? Yeah. My little kids, you ready?
Amanda's mom. We're gonna go inside the van. Look at all of this. Wow. Let's put in my head. We're leaving. Goodbye, America. Don't know when I'll be back again. She's singing. Um, yeah, bye, America. Hi, everyone. It's been about a month since we got back from America and it's taken me so long to do this but here we are finishing off the last video um i thought this video did not nearly have enough footage so i thought i'd do a little haul and also talk about the holiday because there are a lot of things that you did not see and i wanted to put my opinions into them so travel day i think i have expressed enough about the first travel day it was difficult it was tiring but that is what it's like traveling all the way to america from the uk so day one so in day one we went to universal studios and we did the et ride we did stuff i didn't actually buy anything on that day i don't think so all the goodies spread out in front of me and not where's oh it's over there um used i think that was a good day i liked how chilled it was in the beginning because we just traveled so we didn't really feel like you know doing lots of stuff it was a good day um i think that's when we realized how busy it was going to be uh, and also how expensive it was going to be although we did go to a really expensive cafe to get a drink um and apparently it's the most expensive one there but we didn't know that so moving on today two so day two was epcot and i really like this day okay we did a lot of fun things we did it if we did the easter egg hunt hold up i still have it i'm gonna put it on my wall oh 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 i have all stuff in here i forgot so um and then i got sauce on it from the chinese which is really sad but there it is. I'm gonna stick it back there behind me. See what Stranger Things poster is in my Disneyland Paris. Um, card is yeah, it's got there. I also got maps. You know what? It's free. It's free, and it's the 50th anniversary, so they're limited anyway. Like it was, it's great. I've got hay fever, so I'm sorry if I sound like really bummed up. It's the 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 pollen count is really high at the moment. Anyway. We did everything we wanted to do, except for Frozen Ever After, I want to call it that. We really wanted to do it because it actually was there the second time we went, but we didn't actually spend much time in Epcot. When I went in 20... I've been three times, which I don't think I said because I wanted to play it down because I didn't want to sound, like, spoiled. I was just really happy to go. Um, but the... I've been twice before. Epcot <laughs> that's where I was um no I loved my favorite rides were probably saw and we'd never do you know what we hadn't done majority of the stuff at Epcot I was too short to go on and test track before so I did test track and that was fun um I am um, we always did the big ball and then it like I think both times we went it rained so then we never went back and then I went again like in 2016 with my mum and um we kind of just did the um around the world area so yeah but we never did frozen ever after so we wanted to do it but then my mum's back started aching and she had uh this issue throughout majority of the holiday and then it got better um so i thought you know i'd rather not you know i'd rather us all be happy so we didn't do that and we didn't see how many near how harmonious either which i do want to see but i'm hoping it will still be there the next time i go so that was epcot we also we won this which i've shown in previous videos we won this with the egg hunt and i brought a mug this day this is the only thing i brought from epcot as well as the other cup i wanted a mug to take to uni with me um and i thought this was beautiful it has like flowers 
and then there's the Epcot ball and the golf ball and then it says grow happiness and it's just in the handle oh and I still left the price tag on it oops it says 2022 on the bottom as well and it says flower and garden festival 2022 so I love that I haven't used it yet because I wanted to show it for this video so now I can use my mug um I think that's everything from Epcot so next day we went back to Universal and what did we do <laughs> I'm going to do my research on the rest of the video on the rest of the videos and come back to you because this is embarrassing. Day three was the day we woke up early and did Hagrid's motorbike magical creature adventure thingy and queued up two hours for it. It was so good though. Um, I don't think I'd ever want to queue up two hours for anything again. I mean, I've done it. I did it later on as well. I did it for Rise of the Resistance as well, but such a long queue um, for waking up early in the morning and it's staying the same queue time of a whole day. We saved no time. We might as well have done other rides in the morning and done that later in the evening because I preferred that ride in the dark because we did it later as well. So it was a really good ride, but honestly, I think it was the best ride I did at Universal. I say that with confidence. It is the best ride there, in my opinion. Um, they have so many good rides at Universal. And staying at a Universal Hotel, a little break from that, was really exciting. When we always stayed at, um, like outside, like in Florida, but that hotel was amazing. And um, I thought, you know, it's not going to be as good because everyone says, oh, Disney's better. And I've never seen a Disney hotel, so I'll never know. But it was a decent price and you got so much for it. We spent a lot of time at the hotel and I appreciate that because it was such a good hotel. Um, I would do it again. And Universal has a lot to offer since I last went. And people always think Universal's inferior, but for my age group, me, my brother, my mum and dad, it was just so much better for us. Um, I did love Disney though. And I think next time I go, um, I would quite like to do the Disney hotels and all the Disney stuff so I can then like weigh up both experiences and be like Universal Hotel or Disney Hotel like do you get better perks with Universal like the extra hour in and the like I think that was the perk but you know was it good being on site for Universal or was it good being on site for Disney it depends because Ubers are expensive so it depends how long you're going to spend in each anyway yeah um, really impressed by Disney's, not Disney, Universal's hotels. Um, so there's that. I forgot what point I was making before that, so I'm going to go on to Velocity Coaster. Velocity Coaster is the new one. It came out so recently, like I think it was a couple, I think it was like late 2021 it came out. So it's the newest thing there. Um, and you know what? I wouldn't say I was disappointed. I think the one thing that would have made the ride better for me was the safety bars right in the uk i think safety is from what i can see from universal and disney a bigger thing um in uk theme parks you have to have like on the velocity coaster it would have been the same as swarm if you've ever been on swarm in the uk it would have been overhead with like a if it's if velocity coaster is in the uk this is if it has like a I won't say cloth, it was like a like a foam metal thing covering your whole body so you were tied in and a seatbelt. Velocicoaster only had a lap bar, which freaked me out, but also I felt like I was falling out. I had nothing to hold on to, whereas if you have overhead things, you can hold on to them. Nothing to hold on to, and it was so scary because I could feel myself like slip kind of. And that I didn't like that. Um I liked the ride, it was smooth. And I liked the inversions and stuff, but I just didn't feel safe in it. And there has never been any problems. Like, obviously, I doubt anyone's going to fall out of the ride. Um, but it just, when you're in it, I did, a lot of people liked it. My mum liked it. It was just a me personal thing that I felt unsafe, even though I'm pretty sure I was. Um, maybe I, I didn't put the black bar down far enough 
I probably didn't put it down enough. So if you're going to go on it, make sure you put the lap bar down properly and be aware that it is just a lap bar for that ride. But it was insane. It went up, it went upside down. You went upside down for like five seconds. That was fun if I had, if I felt more safe. Um, and we did something else that day, but I can't remember what. Um, anyway, we, we did that and then we went back to the hotel and I can't remember what we did in the evening. I think that was it. I think we just went out all morning and then in the afternoon we chilled. I think we went back into, we went to City Walk in the evening. Um, I'm pretty sure. So I can't remember. Watch the vlog. If it's in the vlog that we did something in the evening, then cool. But if it's not, then we probably stayed at a hotel. Either way, it wasn't important. The next day was Hollywood Studios, which was probably the worst day out of a whole. <laughs> We're getting on a bit of a downer here. Um, probably the worst day out of a whole experience, only because the queues were so ridiculously long. And I don't think Disney Disney Genie would have helped us at all. Um, so we queued up for Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance was an amazing ride. Um, it was insane. It was an experience and my mum liked it and she'd never seen Star Wars before, whereas I have watched Star Wars movies. I understood, I understood references <laughs> and it was just so much fun. I generally felt like a rebel spy, which is the, oh, well, not a rebel spy, I guess I, a rebel, a rebel. I was a rebel and I enjoyed that. So that was good. I liked in the queue, they knew it would be a long queue on the sides there was little seats so like you'd be like queuing up but there'd be like a little ledge a flat ledge that was obviously there purposely so people could sit down um i really liked that disney thank you can you put that in more of your rides because when i'm queuing up for two hours i cannot be standing for two hours um then by that point we needed a snack because we were hungry so we all right i think i got a pretzel no i we went we did muppets before i got a pretzel Muppets was also amazing, just as I remember, just as funny. Arguably one of the best rides there. Well, it's not a ride, it's an, it's an experience. Anyway, we ate. The, I had a pretzel, um, which apparently are amazing, but I don't think I got used to American food by then. So I was like, this isn't real cheese. This is some fake cheese artificial sauce. Um, Obviously, I'm not used to artificial cheese sauce, so, but it was nice. Anyway, um, we went on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. I wanted um, to go on it because it was a new ride. We hadn't been on it. Um, I think it was cute. It was definitely for children. It was not for me and my mum's demographic. I don't think I would, I mean, maybe I would do it again, but not, we queued up for over an hour. I would not queue over for an hour for it. Um, and it's not that it was bad it was incredible like how they did it but it was definitely for younger children and there is stuff in disney which are for all ages but i feel like i needed to go in there with a family i felt awkward being a 17 year old with their mom going on it not to be ashamed more just that it wasn't the ride for me is what i'm saying and then we tried to go for terra terra um no luck because it was a two and a half hour queue and we were just so tired by that point with the queuing um because everything was so long and it was so busy and then we went and queued for rock and roller coaster and that was the end of it we left by four o'clock that's hollywood studios um i got some pins i'll show you in a minute some pins they're actually on my college lanyard and i don't really want you guys to know where i go um so i'm just gonna take them off we got this one. It is Tara Terra. Tara Terra is my favourite ride. Um, I went on it at Disneyland Paris and I've been on it at Disney before. We just didn't go on it this time. Um, next time I'll go on it, but I thought this was cute. So we've got that one. I got another pin as well. Did I get it from there? Or did I get it from... No, I got this one from... I got this one from Magic Kingdom. So that's all I got from Hollywood Studios. Oh, no, I've got something else. I keep getting confused. I got this. You can't see it. Oh, <laughs> my 
I'm gonna have to take a picture of it. Um, it says 2022 and it's like a Disney one. I also have a 2016 one on here. This is my Disney charm bracelet. So, a couple of them. Next day was my favorite day, day five. Day five, we went in the morning and in the evening and chilled in the afternoon. Actually, in the afternoon, we went to Walmart. Um, and near Walmart was a K-pop shop. And I got a formula of love and got Seven's Flight Log, which I was amazed to find that it still is in print like i thought it was non-existent but they had got seven's whole discography there so if i had more money i would have brought the whole thing but no i brought those two um i think i recorded a lot of day five it was just chilled it was good um i loved going to the theme park at night i got scared on the kong ride like that was really good day six magic kingdom another one of my favorite days um in the top three um if i was ranking it <coughs> um magic kingdom we did a lot um did everything we wanted to we saw the fireworks we stayed even a bit after that i got to go on the carousel which was really fun and i brought stuff when i say i brought stuff um i brought pins i brought my mum a pin she has it so i'm not going to show you it I, you see it in the video i got a tinkerbell pin there she is because I love Tinkerbell and I also got this 50th anniversary pin because I wanted one because it showed I went in 2022 although people could think I went in 2021 but we went in 2022 for a 50th so we had that um I also have all the backs to these as well I kept all these little card things I thought I would put them on the wall um the next day this is where it gets a bit blurry Day seven, we went to Volcano Bay, which I did not record because it's a swim, it's a, well, not a swimming pool, it's a, it was fun. We stayed there all morning and then it started to rain. Well, it, we, it was forecast to rain. So we went back to the hotel, um, I had, and then we were going to go out for dinner. We wanted to get Panda Kitchen, Panda Kitchen, Panda Express. Panda Express. It's called a Panda Express because we don't have that in the UK. So we had it. Never it. It was good, but it was absolutely raining. Um, you saw it in the video. So we didn't do that. Was all we did on that day. Then the day after, we went back to a theme parks and did the ones that we wanted to. Do. So we did all of Harry Potter. Um, we did all the ones that we were missing. Um, I think we did Transform. Did we do Transformers that day? No, we did Transformers on day five. Um, we did all the stuff we wanted to do. And the last day, oh, and we also saw the Mardi Gras parade that day. Um, the last day, day nine, I guess, um, I brought loads of things. I also brought things on day eight as well, but I can't remember the specifics, so I'm just going to show you the rest of the stuff I got now. Um, we spent morning, like, packing and stuff, so I packed my bag. And then once I packed my bag, we went out for the last time in the evening to do harry potter we did uh hagrid's again because i wanted to do it again um we did it at night time which was amazing um and we did single rider which was a short queue um, we met lovely people in that queue so it was really nice um earlier that day on day nine we also did summer sea walk like we went to the chocolate factory i got a got a brownie um which was nice and that was all we did um now i'm going to show you what i brought um i got this pin which i wanted more pins from universal but i only got one which is really stupid of me free the house elves because free the house elves is what i have to say um i got a marvel bucket hat which me and my brother share because he likes it as well it's pretty cool i'm gonna wear it to comic con um, I got this magnet for someone, it is a present, and I got this, which is a ornament, I haven't actually opened it yet, well, I have, I've looked at it in the shop, but I haven't, like, unwrapped it, Jesus, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, it's the Hogwarts Express, love it, love it, Although it doesn't say the Hogwarts Express on it, it says Hogwarts Castle. What's that about? Um, and then I got the best thing I've ever brought on this whole trip. E.T. 
and that's everything I got. So that's the end of the video. I had a really good time and I hope you enjoyed this vlog series. So I'll see you all next time and bye.